Catch me catching plays. Okay. Catch me serving J. Okay. It's trying to all take. For real. Rocking with that thing. Bah. I'll let it bang. Bah. You make bullets rain. Just like Matt Payne. Good luck to you. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of the Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Now, now. Can't just expect me to walk into the middle of a battle. What battle? A rat! Be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks.
od večera do rána. Graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirtstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rattay, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pirtstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Ah, uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter. The Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, 
I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Captain Bernard's not here. 
I should stop by during the day. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh... And because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. I'll be with you. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Not bad. Ah, very good. Ah, that's it. Ah, nice. Ah, all right. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Mm. Not bad. Ah. Well done. Ah. Good. Ah. Well done. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Well done. Good. Ah, quickly! Ah, that's it! Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. See what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Ah, 
Ah, good strike. See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Fine, enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Well done. Mm. All right. Not bad. All right. Not bad. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Ow. No, not like that. You mustn't hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ow. Very good. Uh, too soon again. Uh, Not bad. Ow. Ah, that's it. Uh, ah, that's it. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. <sighs> Not bad. Ow. Not bad. <sighs> ah, that's it. Very good. <coughs> ah, that's it. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> Captain Bernard. Wait a while, Henry. Good greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? 
I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Let's go! I don't have all day, boy. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Oof. Wrong! Again! Ugh. No, that's not it! Ugh. No, not like that! Ugh. Wrong! Damn. Wrong, damn it! <sighs> Not like that! Ow. Wrong! Again! Ow. Wrong, damn it! <sighs> Wrong, damn it! Ah, that's it! Ow! No! Well done! Well done! Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. That's it. <clears throat> Not bad. <sighs> Ow. <clears throat> Not bad. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block. But then, change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. <sighs> Not like that! <sighs> Not like that! <sighs> no! Again! What are you <sighs> waiting for? Very good! Very good. Mm. Not bad. Very wrong. Not bad. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me.
Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. You what you shoot have there the is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now nah, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand, ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me... I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Good. Curse it! Your end is nigh. 
Well, you got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now, go to the Rat House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Everything for the house, garden and field. Knives, axes, rakes, hoes. Garlic, carrots, beetroot, onions, all that grows in the ground, ah. fresh. Come right up. Cucumbers, love.
Good health to you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe, but they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, bailiff. Take care now. Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring. Asparagus for taste and prune for what ails ya. Try them. Nash the dechek, nebosh dechek, dayim pambuk nebesa. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. May the Lord watch over you.
Let's talk about the price. Naturally. All right, sir. God bless. Garlic, onions, mushrooms and asparagus. Come right up. No need to be shy. Good day to you. What do you need? Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Ratzik sides with the king. Farewell. Have you come from the bailiff? I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty to? Sir Radzik Cobbler. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it.
Good luck, please. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me. How did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius. The scribe. And, pour and the, the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. and pretzels for you. What the hell is going on here now? Just run along, go and check it out, God. Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her.
Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey.
Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, and so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Have pity on me, a poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Have pity on me. A poor wretch. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. You all know what happened. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. I... Uh... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game?
Why not? Why, oh, why did I ever agree to this? I'll lose my shirt again. One beer for me. Certainly. I'll fetch it right away. My pleasure. Here, enjoy it. One aisle over here, please. All right, all right. Here, enjoy it. Finished. Hail as usual.
Here. This will be the one. Hmm. My pleasure. That's it. Hmm. Now you. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Say girl. Boss man, girl. I say. Y'all just try to pull me over, they're like, bleh, bleh. huh? What? Y'all just try to pull me over, they're like, bleh, bleh. but I had to do the dash. I like, skish, 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 Y'all just try to pull me over, they're like, bleh, bleh. but I had to do the dash. I like, skish, 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 hey. skish, 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 Catch me catching plays. Okay. Catch me serving J. Okay. It's trying to all take. For real. Rocking with that thing. Fuck. I'll let it bang. Fuck. You make bullets rain. You like mad pain. Stuck in the game. Hey. Green or cocaine. Green or cocaine. I'll be serving things. For real. I got everything. Okay. Serving in the head. And it takes you on the man. On the man. So much motherfucking swag they don't understand. I don't but I got a plan. For hey. real. Got a skin, got a plot. What's that? Get this watch, that is why. Then flesh a lot. Uh -huh. And talk a lot of shit like I rap a lot. Hey. Shout out rap a lot. Okay. Hey. But I trap a lot. Hey. And I stack a lot. Hey. Right. SOS the stacking star. Bitch, Nigga, the world is ours. Hey. GGR, gotta get rich, fancy cars. Hey. Diamond chains. Hey. 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 Ten chains, ten rings. Nigga, stain ain't a thing. No, no. Wanna be what? bigger than Lil Wayne. Hey. I ain't gon' flop like no Lil Zane no. It's 10-9 